of the Flames Award Battle Report. Lots of new things this time. So we're using a Bastone Parachute Rifle Company from the American Bulge Book. And we've got, again, the new German Bulge Book with Richard using a Volks Grenadier Company with a very cool looking warrior card. And he's spreading rumours as well, which is an amazing command card. And we've got a new mission as well. And we're using uh, snow-covered terrain rules. Fortunately, my terrain will not look like it's snow. I'm not prepared to go dusting it yet with flour or sugar. Uh, you'll just have to imagine the snow. A new mission, nuts. I've been waiting to play this. I've been waiting for the Room Bulge book to come out, just so we'd have better units to represent it. Um, very interesting mission. Um, immediate reserves and along the entire length of the board they can come in so some nice flanking shots will be um, great and also being immediate is nice and ambush but no minefields but with the snow covered terrain rules should slow the enemy up enough to help me defend my objectives and that is it so let's get into um, the lists and the report Okay, everyone, so this is my uh, Bulge American list for the Nuts mission. We'll be the Defender. So we are going to be using a Bastone Parachute Rifle Company. So last game, American Bulge had a platoon, and now we have a full company. So um, if anyone's unfamiliar with these, these guys are same stats and points as the D-Day ones, but they have a 2 plus last stand now. So in the formation we have a HQ, which is two SMG teams. We then have two full platoons, which is seven rifle uh, MG teams uh, with a mortar and a bazooka. And I've paid an extra point for another LMG and another point for an extra bazooka because that will be uh, hopefully rounded out enough to deal with either extra infantry or tanks. Um, when I was building my force, I had four points left. So I could have had two 57mm guns, uh, pattern card, but I've gone for the recon tubes because I don't tend to use them much. I can't think if I've actually used them myself. They've got 50 cals, so they could be useless against um, lighter stuff and, of course, infantry. And obviously they can move around, so they'll be quite fun. And that is it for the company. Um, and basically starting on table uh, with the paratroopers will be the 3-inch toad. Uh, anti-tank guns, uh, which are equipped with tank destroyer hypervelocity AP to make them AT-13, and outpost guns. So this is basically like pack front, uh, because uh, with the nature of this mission, I want them spread around, um, cutting out avenues of attack. Although they're going to have to be careful, so they are forward firing. So two are going to have to point one way, and two are going to point the other. And that will be my 60 points on table at the start of the game. And then in reserve will be a unit of veteran late Germans. All of them have 76mm uh, anti-tank guns. And they also have 76mm hypervelocity AP, also making them AT-13. And then I have a unit of four veteran chaffies, which is perfect 40 points. So... Not sure yet what is going to go in ambush. I'm going to have to wait to see what Richard uh, is going to be using. But my idea is is one power platoon per objective to hold it down. Uh, fearless veterans should be able to hold their ground. Uh, HQ hopefully can straddle between them. These guys are going to stay out of trouble unless needed. And these guys are going to hopefully try and uh, pick uh, the German armour off one by one or just make them honest and hold back a bit until these guys come in. And these guys being 76mm coming in most likely from the flank, because I once we random which side, it's going to be the entire side, so I should be able to get flank shots, and even the chaffee should be able to, able to do some damage as well. And that is it. That's my American list. I think it's quite nice, a bit low in numbers because of the paratroopers, but I feel it's fitting to have nuts and paratroopers. So there we go. So let's see what Richard is bringing. Okay, so this is Richard's uh, list attacking me in the nuts mission. As you can see, there's quite a bit and you'll understand why. So formation, we have a Volks Grenadier Company. 
The HQ uh, is two STG uh, 44 teams with Panzerfaust and um, Richard has used a command card Siegfried Moldenhauer, I probably said that wrong, which is an interesting one, basically makes the Volks Grenadiers near him and wins in combat with him better, so six points, uh, understandable. So then we have a assault platoon, so that's seven teams with STG 44s and Panzerfaust. Uh, remember Panzerfaust are limited two now, so two of them can be them. And we also have two Panzerschrecks upgraded to the unit. We then have your standard rifle MG Volks Grenadier platoon with Panzerfaust and again two Panzerschrecks. Now we also have the Volks Grenadier Pioneer platoon, so it works similar to the other ones. Uh, they cross minefields on the 3 plus and dig in on the 3 plus. I don't know which one it is yet, uh, so I've just placed it by both. Also in the formation are six 8cm mortars and four 12cm mortars, and that is it. Only one formation, and that is it. In support, then, we have four Volks Stokes, three Brigade Panthers, three Vesps, and he's paid for a uh, Panzer III OP, and then we have an Armoured Ardennes SS Panzer Grenadier Platoon, and of course, they have Panzerfaust as well. And then to round off to 100 for two points, we have Spread Rumours. So basically, um, he can stop me uh, rallying a unit when he uses that card, and then it's gone. But I've noticed it isn't limited, so I wonder if that'll be an FAQ at some point. And then we have the Lucky card. And that is it. So quite interesting. Pretty much, I think, everything other than the Vesps and the OP are aggressive. And skill-wise, not great, unless this HQ is near the formation. But overall, plenty of numbers will be interesting to see how uh, we attack, because we'll be using um, the snow um, rules in the American Bulge book. So just picture this being all white and not getting the flower out and dusting it. But uh, yeah, so it'll be slowing things down a bit. So this is why Richard has gone for more infantry. So there we go. So we'll have we'll get back to you after deployment. Okay, so we are all deployed. So I placed my objective over here so I can hold it with a building so uh, it'll be easier to hold. And then the other objective Richard placed here. So you peppered some um, artillery around it to deter me. And there we go. So the outpost guns are a bit tricky. So I got one facing this way one facing this way and then the other two are here so one again facing that way and another facing that way my second platoon of paratroopers are in this building conveniently not under a template so the bazookas and lmgs are in the terrace and everything scattered around with the ceo connecting them by here i then have my jeeps uh, hidden in the woods here and first platoon is in ambush and then of course as already mentioned my tanks are in reserve so over here for the Germans, we have the OP, the, um, do you want to rejig your, um, SS oh, yeah. So we have the SS Armoured Grenadiers, the, um, Brigade Panthers, and the 8cm Mortars. And in attacking from this flank, we have the Assault Volks, the HQ, who's a, a warrior, uh, the Rifle MG Platoon, the 12cm Mortars, the Vesps, and the Volkstugs and another 8cm mortar here, over here for some reason and the final placement for these guys is here so the recap, snow covered terrain movement everything is going to be terrain dash unless there's a road which is cross country and if a vehicle is moving more than 8 inches it has to do a cross check if it fails it stops where it is and there's Richard looking at him, looking at him moving stuff around again um, <laughs> In this one, you can, as a vehicle, move over this river, um, but you have to roll a dice and you plus, add three to it. Now, if that plus your front armour um, is less than your front armour, you go straight through it. So basically, infantry can run across ponds and rivers, fine, and that's it. So, you're done now? You're happy? Yep. So um, we can crack on with first turn, which of course will be going to the Germans. And I have immediate reserves and they're scattered, so on either flank. So here we go. Okay, German movement. So the Volks uh, are moving over here and the Stugs are falling over here. 
we had the SS with a successful uh, follow me going over the river, no cross checks needed here, and the Panthers have taken up position on the ridge. Now going into the shooting step, Richard will be starting with smoke, yeah. and you're using your already ranged in marker, is that right? Possibly. I'll see Possibly. That. Okay, so we'll see where the smoke ends and then we'll see some dice roll then. Okay, so we're starting here. So the 8cm mortars with the aid of the Panzer III OP. Well, in fact, they can, they can see down yeah. there anyway. They pop in their 24 inch line of smoke. So you can roll three at the same time. So you need in fours. Yeah, you got it. So we'll put the smoke and. Is that it? Are you going to fire any more smoke? Uh, possibly come back. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the Vesps used their ranged in marker to put smoke there, and I only have the four, so they've got the four here, and the um, 24, and then the 12 inches there. And we'll figure out what else Richard is. I don't think you can really fire anything else. Yeah, yeah, I've got to put something uh, okay. bobbin down there. Alright then, so grab your template, which is yeah. over here. Or we could even go there, we might yeah. have to have a look. Okay, so we'll figure out where he wants to put it and then we'll uh, roll some dice. Oh, wait a second. Okay, so um, we are going to, he is going to be uh, ranging in here uh, with the 12 cm mortars, they can see. So being trained, they need a 5 up to range in. Uh, first attempt, second attempt, get it. So you need a 5 to hit. Okay, for this one first, because he yeah. covers that one as well. No, nope. so that's a miss. Second one. Oh, you're hitting him as well. Okay. Yeah. okay. No. Oh. So no hits there. So no pin in there. And that concludes your shooting, doesn't it? I suspect it? so, because I think these guys are probably... Uh, are those the STGs? Yes, or? they are. Oh, okay, so, so they can't fire. They're out. No. Okay. That's it. That's it for German turn. So we go into American turn one. So no motivation, so I might as well roll up. To see if my reserves come in on a five up. No, oh. not yet. So we'll get into whether I shall pop my ambush or not. I'll come back to you after the movement. Okay, so I did bring the ambush in. Apologies, I did roll for reserves first. Um, so they've come here. So luckily, being a big unit, they can be eight inches of the unit leader. So they've moved here for now. I'm going to keep my infantry over there because those stugs could move. Uh, speaking of stugs, we did just resolve their firing. He fired into the house, but they didn't do anything, so that was okay. So we'll be doing my shooting next. Um, so I'll have a little think, and then we'll uh, put some markers down and whatnot. Okay, so I'm ranging in with my first platoon mortar right by here. I'm not clipping any tall terrain or short terrain. It's just flat for the pond, so I need a three. I get it. So we'll figure out what's under the template and I'll point and roll. So what have we got here? So from the assault guys, we have him, 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 and him. So we have the two, and I need to re-roll these anyway, so I'll just point and yep. go. That guy is okay. Needing threes, that guy is okay. Unit leader is hit. Need another dice now. Yep. And the Panzer Shrek is okay. Oh, and then we have another guy in the pond was hit. And then we have your HQ, who if he dies, loses the card. I get him. Yeah. And then what else? We have two more guys. Same platoon? A different platoon. So we have the rifle platoon. Is it missed? And we have the executive officer who's hit. Now just to point out everyone uh, before when I mentioned about the pioneers, it is the rifle platoon because that's the only one it can be equipped to. So, there we go. So, if you grab me two pinned markers, yep. uh, so one for the assault and one for your HQ. And one for the other platoon, is it? But I didn't get hit on that. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's for your HQ, that's for the platoon. So you have a save to do on your unit leader, so if, uh, he's okay. And a save to do on this guy, he's okay. And now the main man, the HQ. Is no, okay. oh, yeah, it's, fine, it's, it's fine. a three plus, and then we also have a save on his executive officer, who's okay. So that's okay, and then everything from that platoon that's in range will also fire. <laughs> so um, might not be a lot, but um, we'll stop recording here, and then we'll record those dice. 
Okay, so I have lots of shots coming in. I can only hit these two front guys, and every one of them I can see without concealment from someone. So it'll just be threes required, but they're already pinned, so it's, it's not too bad, really. Uh, so here we go. Uh, I missed once. Now, that would be nice if I had more people in that platoon. So, five saves on each guy. So, um, we'll do five, five, sa five saves on him. He died. Nice. Surprise. And five saves on him. Nice. He dies. Only just the one hit. Okay, and now my three inch gun is going to fire short range <laughs> onto your HQ. Yeah. Now it's two shots, but I don't have HE, so I'll be hitting you on fours. One hit. One hit. You, you could fob it off onto the platoon or the executive officer. Uh, onto the platoon. Okay. Which you do, um, and then I guess it'll just be a rifle, uh, yep. SDG team. So it's okay. Mm -hmm. Right, so he has also not gone to ground. Um, and I believe then might be able to fire my para mortar there if I use my unit leader as a spotter, but we'll check angles and that will be the it for my shooting this turn. Okay, so my mortar's gonna be ranging in here. It'll be a four plus because of um, the terrain. I do not get it on the first attempt. I get it on the second. Now there's only two mortars I can actually hit, so I have the guy to my left of the screen here who is missed, double one, so needing fours here. And uh, no, but I am ranged in. And that is it for my turn. So now we go into German turn two, and you got some rally tests to do. Yeah. Um, I believe your rally is it better because of this guy? Three or, plus. So three plus. So you've got, and you've also you re-roll in. Um, so two dice for this unit leader here. Good, and then your HQ himself. Yes, it's a three plus, so he's okay, and that's it. Yep. That's it. So, the, yep, so yeah. the smoke gets cleared away and you continue into your movement. Okay, German movement this turn. The Stugs are moving down to this flank. Uh, this here's the rifle platoon and the HQ in this woods, trying to take cover. And then this is the STG platoon, or the assault platoon. And then the SS dismounted, tried doing a follow me into the woods but didn't, but their um, half tracks are moved to neutralise the jeeps, which they should all, all have clear shots on. So I could end up losing my dupes because they only have a four plus save, uh, but they are hit on fours. But you do have a, like a billion dice from this four shots each. So that is it. So going into gym shooting, it won't be smoke this turn because you yep. fired it all. Uh, so we will have a look at what you're doing. Okay, so first bit of shooting, we have sixteen dice onto these. So that's sixteen dice for iron fours. I just do four lots of four. None. <laughs> Good start. Second lot four. Three. I'll just grab three. Okay. Third lot four. Uh, four more. Final lot four. Alright. Alright, so this is why you don't take jeeps. <laughs> and one poor guy has three hits on him. Happy with the allocation? Yeah. Okay, so that guy with three hits needing fours. Oh! Really? I'm not using a lucky card for that. <laughs> okay, so he's done. And then I have two saves to make on this guy. He survives. Oh. And then I have... I'm, I rolled SS dice there. Two yeah. saves on the other guy. He survives. Oh, wow. And two saves on the other guy. And he died. So I'll put smoke. So I'm losing two in two bads? No, that's I'll, rubbish. I thought that's... Uh... Okay, so the two flank guys are dead. And then we'll see what else we're shooting at. Okay, right, Stugs now are firing long range into this outpost gun, so it is going to be sevens. No, nothing there. Next. Uh, okay, Panzer IV. Um, Panzer, why did you. Now that I'm saying Panzers, Richard, Panthers are firing at the outpost gun, so again, it's going to be sevens, but you, you've got six dice for this one. So three potential here. Oh, I rolled too many dice. Oh. Just Sorry, like <laughs> <laughs> that saves save you, right? Okay, so six dice. Yeah, well, that's better. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 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 
Right, next, if you got a quick fire thing, so your motors are already ranged in by there, or you yeah. got 12 centimetre motors, yeah, and now there's infantry under there as well, which yeah. is quite tasty. I'll do the 12 centimetre motors. Okay. Uh, let's start with the, the guns, because we know they're under there first. Yeah. Do you want to do that, yeah? Okay, so yeah. The, this gun here, um, it's uh, you're hitting it on a four. You don't. No. Uh, this gun here, you're hitting on a four. No. So now we definitely know the two rifle teams and the LMG. I, what about my mortar though? I don't think. No, it's not in. Yes. Okay. Well, it doesn't matter if you hit them. So two rifle teams there. Um, you hit one. Mm. So but pinned. And then my LMG. Miss. And then the other rifle team by there. You miss. Oh, terrible. Okay, but it is a repeat bombardment. Yeah. So it's a double save from me. Ah, two fives. More than enough. Okay, okay I'll just work out where the VESPs go. Okay, so VESPs are ranging in on this outpost gun here. Uh, so it's going to be fours, because uh, veteran... Well, one dice, one dice. Don't go, go. Got it. Right, so the outpost gun itself, requiring a four to hit, you hit it. And then my CO is under that template. You miss him, the XO, and then the unit leader of that platoon is hit. Okay, so first of all, the outpost gun uh, passes and the unit leader passes on a four. So, but pinned output. Yeah, you did hit the outpost yep. gun. So he is pinned. And then we'll see what else is shooting. Okay, so now the 8 centimeter mortar is ranging here, requiring fives. Second attempt. Final oh. attempt. Yes. Got it. Okay, so you again to re roll your misses because you've got six teams, but you are hitting, hitting six. sixes. So uh, you're getting the CO. Uh, so uh, one dice. No. Roll no. again. No, you can roll two dice at a time. Yep. So we have the outpost gun here. No. no. Uh, the outpost gun here. No. no. Uh, I think the executive officer gets hit as well. No. And then the mortar. No. And that's it. I don't think anything else is under there. No, um, any other shoot down? I think that's... Can't shoot with these because they did follow me and everything else is obscured or already fired. Yep. So we are going into American turn two. Okay, so American startup step. I have a few pinned down units. So I'm going to start with the outpost gun up by there, who will get a reroll, so they are confident. Uh, so it does rally, luckily. Thank you, HQ. Um, my unit, well, the, this platoon needs a rally, which they do on double three, because yep. they are fearless. That is it for my motivations because they still have two so they're okay and then I have two dice for reserves no no uh, I can maybe live with that for now I'm not burning unlucky I'll need a five up <laughs> so we will be going into American movement okay starting off I'm going to be firing first platoon of the paras which are down here so basically everyone you can see here is going to be um, going on to the SS platoon um, bazookas are going to try and go onto the half tracks um, and then I have three teams here who can see these two guys on the edge of the woods here but that's it and my mortar, I've already put the marker down uh, that could be, could be a problem uh, is going to be ranging in there and if I do get it I get everyone apart from the panzer shrek on the edge so I need a four to range in first attempt I get it okay so I think I'll just roll for all the rifle teams yep. and then I'll re-roll everything I do actually hit. So you haven't lost anyone, so that's seven teams. Four, six, seven. So requiring threes. Right, so that's three out of the equation so far. And that is four hits. So I'll just go one, two, three. Four, uh, we'll, we'll come back to the things okay. and then we have your Panzer Shrek which is missed your big boss guy is hit again yep. and his executive officer who isn't so it's two pinned units the HQ and the platoon um, so roll up you say so, so do you want to do your four rifle teams yes four rifle teams lose two oh. so we'll just 
Um, him if you're happy yep. and then no, the, no, most, no. <laughs> the most important one of all yeah your big boss man so is it just the one oh it's two is just it? the one just that the one. Got he's okay but they're both pinned yeah and did it hit my xo as well no it didn't so the, so the whole hq unit yep. is pinned so they're pinned and they're pinned so then my shots from that lot are going into this so i have my Five and four. So it's going to be fours because plus one for the concealment from the woods. That's cocked. So that is enough hits to pin you, which yep. is nice. And then it's just going to be, again, just allocating it to two teams. So three for him, he's no. dead. And then three for the unit leader who just dies. So you'll have to assign someone else. Yeah. So, so. Um, so he's dead, is he? Yes. So oh, let's go to that, which is outside. No, you don't have to go, go to that. You can do any of the rifle teams. You, either way, you'll still be a Panzer Shrek team. Yeah, but it'll be out of. Um... Yeah, you'll be out. Okay, and they're pinned as well. Okay, the mark. Yeah. Right. Furthermore, we have some shots over here. So I'll just have a little measure up and see what can hit the half tracks. Okay, so the bazookas first, uh, they are deep enough into the woods that is going to be plus one to hit onto the half tracks. So it's going to be fours, no, oh, one hit, sorry, so that was a one. So I'll just put it by there, so it's anti-tank ten. Uh, so I don't think you can stop that with your front no. armor. So to kill it, though, is the question. I do. Yeah. And then I have six shots going into the woods. So hitting your gents on fours, because they are aggressive SS. And that is three hits. Okay, three saves. Yeah, so I'll go one. One two. fails. Uh, which one? Uh, back, back, miss. Okay. So SS guy will go there. And then straight up then, I'm going to do the jeeps. They're going to fire into the woods as well because they're on the edge. I can see them. And they're within six, so I can I think I can see this guy as well. So that will be six shots. Hitting on fours. And they're, they're pinned as well. So that will be two and two there. Okay, first two. Dead. Dead. Second two. Alive. But we'll have a uh, pinned mark on them. And I still have more shooting to do, uh, so um, we'll see. I, first of all, I'm going to do a shoot and scoop with the uh, Jeeps. Yep. Uh, which I, do, I am doing more shooting, I just want to get these guys further back. They're not on the ground anymore, so I'll figure out now what else I want to shoot. Okay, so it's outpost gun time now. So this outpost gun is firing at half tracks, so hitting you on threes. Yeah. Might as well fire them. Uh, that's one miss, that's a cock dice. That's one hit, so it's go straight, straight through. through. <laughs> Dead. Yeah. That is three plus, yeah. So we'll just have a half track on as well. This outpost gun is going to fire at your mortar over there, which is long range, concealed, and I have no HE. Uh, so fours, no, threes normally, fours for range, fives for concealment, sixes for no HE. Nope. Okay. That outpost gun, long range. Oh, I can see through the gap there. Yep. So it's just long range. Uh, so fours, two hits. Ooh. So your front armor goes to... Eight, yep. and you need to equal thirteen. Okay. So no. no. So first stug, dead. Second stug, oh, dead. Did use those very well. And then that guy is going to fire at the Panthers long range yep. concealed. So threes normally, fours, Five. fives. One hit. Yep. Front armor goes to eleven, so you need a two to equal. Yeah, bounce. So that's all outpost guns fired, and then I have my other para platoon. I just realised I didn't even want to fire at the stugs, I forgot. I, in the heat of the moment, I actually wanted to fire at the vesps, but there we go. Um, and then the last thing to shoot now will be my mortar from uh, second platoon. Uh, that's just going to be repeating this bombardment down here. So we have the guy in the field, who's missed, and then the other guy... I hit him. Well, Hooray. So you're pinned yeah, and you have good. a double save to make. So fail. So kill. Yeah. Uh, that guy there. The most important thing is they're pinned, so yeah. hopefully they will never ever rally. <laughs> Wait, yes, they probably will. Um, 
So that is it. I did it. I did my shooting scoot, and yeah. So there we go for uh, American Turn Two. Okay, gym motivation. We have lots of pinning tests. So where do you want to start? Uh, we'll start on the SS. Okay, so that's going to be simple. Three plus for them, which they're more than happy. I'll keep the pin marker down here for you. Now, <laughs> next, uh, we'll do the poor. I think this, the assault team. The assault team, so it will be a five Why? plus for them. Because they're out of range, because you killed my... Yeah. Oh. Stay pinned, and then you have your rifle platoon, who, but get a re-roll. They're fine. They're fine. And then the you, three plus because of yeah. the command card. And the HQ, yeah, so roll two. Yeah, and he's good. And then a five up on the mortars. Oh, they rally. <sighs> Lucky break. Lucky, and that is it for your motivations. No last stands, not yet. So crack on with your movement. Okay, so we might have some assaults on the horizon. So uh, the HQ has moved here to rally these guys next turn. And this platoon is shaping up to go in. Stugs are moving in more likely just to help out. SS are moving also to assault. Um, might be able to connect with that team. We'll measure that. But they'll definitely connect this guy. And the half tracks are going to be trying to get rid of the jeeps. And that's it. So the only artillery you have to move is this one. So and plus you've already got a, a hit on one of the platoons as it is. Um, so let's get into shooting step and rearranging your mortars if you want to start with that first. Yep. Okay. So this this is the twelve centimeter mortars ranging in. Uh, if they do range in, they will still get the two outpost guns, my mortar, and a rifle team. So first attempt to range in. Uh, you do not. You're trained. Yep. Oh, so needs a five. No, final attempt. No, definitely. Okay, so the Vesps are now repeating their bombardment, so you have a hit on the outpost gun, which you're hitting on a four, which you do not. Reroll, because it's... No, it yeah. saves. Executive officer is missed. HQ is hit, and the unit leader is hit. That's the big one. So that platoon is pinned, which will effectively half my defensive fire. So the HQ first um, fails one save. Unit leader fails one save. So I'll just have to take it and see if you can kill him. So the, the unit leader, can you kill him? Uh, what's it on? Is it a four? Three, three plus for a VESP. You do. And then the HQ, you do. So HQ is up here now. And unit leader, I'll put him by here, but they're still pinned. And ooh, that's not very good. If only I had done what I was planning to <laughs> fire at the <laughs> bloody the things. Okay, so your eight centimeter mortars are ranged in on both of the um, outpost guns and the mortar and the executive officer who's now the CO. So the outpost gun in the woods, two dice yep. requiring fours. Oh because he because obviously he gets to re-roll his misses. The other outpost gun by here, you hit him, and the executive officer, which is the CO, is hit, and the mortar is hit. So times for saves. So the outpost gun in the woods is okay. Oh. The other outpost gun is not okay. The CO is not okay, and the mortar. Did you? You didn't hit the mortar, yeah. did you? Oh, you hit. Oh no, you didn't hit. I've rolled an extra save here, and the mortar's okay. It's just the outpost gun. Okay, so the outpost gun and the CO, you have a chance, but the outpost gun, you have to roll two dice because you have to re-roll your successful firepowers. Who's no. no? And then the executive officer. Uh, it was just just one dice, but oh, okay. so you got him. So he will try and swap into the platoon which he does, so he will take up this guy by here. And they're all pinned, yeah. Yeah, every platoon they've got is pinned. <laughs> Good. And my HQ is getting further and further away from the area I actually need them to be in. Good. Stugs are opening up on the outpost gun, two dice requiring fives, one hit. Two I hits. Oh yes, I thought it was a three then. So two four up saves. 
uh, fail both, so two, three up five powers. But I have to re-roll them. Yeah, don't you I? have to re-roll them. So is this just one or this will be the two and I'll re-roll them. Okay. So one and dash re-rolled. Okay. No. <sighs> Unlucky. Okay, and then we got these guys firing into the woods, so four shots hitting on fives. One hit. Yep. Uh, three up save, which I pass. Okay. Um, pass again. Okay, so, uh, yep, so two shots. Uh, it's going to be sixes. sixes. One, One hit. Need a four up save, which I fail, and then it's a five up firepower. No. Nope. Okay, uh, next up we have eight half track shots coming into the Jeeps. Uh, so four shots, uh, eight shots, sorry, on fours. Uh, so that is three on one of them and two on the other. So the guy with three, uh, well, he fails all of them. And the guy with two, please. Uh, he's gone. Yeah, so those two jeeps are gone there. And then an SS can fire into the woods as well. Yeah. So it'll be one, two, three, four, eight shots hitting on five. They're also, oh, they've got uh, MG 42s right? Yeah, they're MG 42s These are rifle MG teams. Okay, eight shots. Uh, three hits. So we have a save by there. Pass on the front of the woods, pass, and the other guy fails. So a six, six. to kill him. No. Okay, so assaulting wise, things are looking pretty decent for you now. Uh, last thing now to fire is your Panthers, Panthers. Uh, the outpost guns, yeah, yeah. so three shots, uh, long range concealed, so yeah. Gonna sixes. Sixes. No. Okay, so we're just about to start this assault here. So out of the SS, only the unit leader can't assault because he's not within four inches of any of the, which will be defending team. So he is going to go into here. He will go here and connect with him because he's within four as well. And this guy will go there. Defensive fire, three rifle teams who are pinned, who are hitting on threes. Bazooka near the edge of the woods hitting on a four because he's overworked. Five for him because of concealment and overworked. And the three inch gun, which is down here somewhere, it's got two dice and is hitting on fours. So let's roll up the five first because I feel this is going to be the tricky one. So we'll move him in first. Yep. And then I can allocate my hits. So. Five going into here, I miss. Then I have the three dice requiring fours. I have two hits. So I'm going to put it there and there. And I need, and so oh, I'm not counting that. So we need, <laughs> we need three more hits. I need threes. I'm going to roll a lucky card here. Yes! Oh, so he's pinned, they're pinned. Oh, I don't have a lucky card. <laughs> what? No! <laughs> I don't have one. Look at the white list. No, it's all right. Damn it, that's, that's a, Damn it, right, so it's one hit off, but I have a hit on everyone, which yeah. is most important. So, you've got some saves to yeah. So we have a save on the guy farther, farthest over here, who's dead. Oh. So that's good already. Sorry, we're a bit blurry there, everyone. And then we have um, the two guys by here. So, double save again, both fine, and then we have the other guy by here, and he dies. Oh, no. <sighs> right, so not too bad. What would you, if you can, if you can, and you'll be knocking some models, roll them by there. Yep. So now you've got two swings, now SS do hit on threes, so swing away, two, Oof, two hits. Two hits, so luckily it's only this guy who dies, because he's not in contact. So now I counter on a three up which I do, Ooh. so see what I can get in. So he will be getting in there, and he will get in here. He can go in there, and then the two bazooka teams are gonna pile in there. They, they, can, they have enough room to get there. Yep. So I only have one swing onto this guy. Oh, actually, it, it can transfer, so I'll swing here first. He doesn't die. And then I have one swing on a three, and then two will be hitting on fours. So on the three, no. And then, oh my god, two dice on fours. Yeah, so that's a kill yeah. by there. And then you counter on, three. on a three plus. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. Oh, we get a two. So you break off um, these guys as well. I, mm, yeah, so these will have to move to stay in with them. 
two inches and they're pinned, uh, they're six inches away from my guys yep. and they're pinned and then my guys get, to, my victorious unit gets to consolidate and I could potentially consolidate out of your thing up there but first of all these guys are going to go back into their foxholes, what's left of them and I'm pinned, well I was already pinned and your guys are pinned yep and do I be sneaky and push my guys back from the woods up by here to stop you assaulting? So I'll check the rules, see if I can, and we'll see. Okay, so I did consolidate. The only thing I did moved was this guy here, because if I was to move these guys back, Richard can still assault my outpost gun, but I'll be limited, a lot more limited on my defensive fire. So I moved one guy to there. To help out and that is it so now we are you gonna assault what, what defensive fire look at this look at okay fire. so one two three four five and then we have two again but i'll be hitting on fours and then that guy because he is still in the forward arc will be hitting you on fives with two more dice oh, oh no no one he's pinned. yeah let's go for it he did get pinned Okay, so um, we'll measure what can go in and then we'll set up the tripod again. Okay, so we have done a bit of measuring. So basically, this Shrek here, the unit leader and that guy are more than four inches away, so can't assault. So basically, it's closest to closest. So this Panzer Shrek can go onto the outpost gun or this rifle team. It's up to you. And then he can go to outpost gun or him. He can go to... Um, LMG and he can go to LMG as well. So I suppose if you went, if you don't mind me, Richard, no, go good. there and then double up on the yeah. LMG. Give it a look. Okay. <laughs> right, so defensive fire now. So I have one, two, three, four, five shots connecting on three. threes. Well, that's four. Ouch. So it'll be one, two, three, four. And then have the outpost gun here uh, hitting you on fours. Get it. Yeah, got you. And Some then pins. the final one hitting on fives. No. Okay, so first of all, that stops the assault. So you have two saves on your Shrek. Yep. So three plus. Dead. No. And then one on this guy, it survives. One on that guy, survives. And then one more there. Survives, so they go back to where they were. Oh, that's not too bad. Doing worse. And then I consolidate, so he is going to go back into his foxhole by there. And I think we'll call it that, really. Yeah. yeah, so there we go. So that is German turn. Sorry, everyone, and um, this guy has stayed where he is because it wasn't actually we didn't actually get into the assault bit, they off pushed back by defensive fire. So we are going into American turn three and we have some a lot of rallying tests to do. So let's do the one that needs you know using any cards or anything? Uh why? Well you've got that card, haven't you? Oh Stop yeah. me rallying one of my units but I'll you... probably do it I'll wait for an assault I think. Okay, right. Um, so, so you don't want to use it now. So have a little read and uh, we'll come back. It's okay, fun. so I dropped a major hint there to Richard. So Richard has spread rumours. So before I go to roll to rally, he picks one unit and it can't rally. So funny enough, it's first platoon. They've feared rumours. Um, probably Gyms that the, the guy that's been fighting next to them for this entire campaign could be a German. So everyone's being suspicious now, so they're not rallying. So, but I do get a rally other unit. So I have my outpost gun um, by here. That does rally. I then have second platoon. That does rally because my HQ is there. And then the HQ himself rallies. And now I have three dice for reserves. So even if I mess this one up, they come in. Because me and reserves don't do well. No, so there we go. Okay, so we established with Richard, so four, five, six will be here, and one, two, three will be up here. One, two, three, please. Yeah, so I will be trying to bring on the Shermans. One, so they'll be all the way up there. Why did they come that way? And the fact is I can't really move any faster than eight inches without them potentially being stuck. 
but I do have targets for them so we will be going into American Movement okay so American Movement I can't really move this platoon because they are pinned the Shermans have come on this side so I'm going to try and get rid of basically what's really been doing me in this game artillery and luckily there's two of them on this side so I'm going down here and hopefully the outpost guns can deal with the Stokes my HQ is moving down dodging this template uh, because I need to help out with rallying down here but it'll take me another turn because I really had to go around templates but that is it so now we go into shooting so I'm going to start off with the platoon up here so basically everyone in that house can fire at basically I think it's just these two teams I can get I'll double check but the mortar most important is going to fire a shot first so I can hit that one mortar by there. <laughs> so it's two shots, because I have to reroll my hits. Even threes. I hit him. Uh, so a double save from you, Richard, on a four up. Yeah. So you do so it was, it was a four I thought it was a four and a one you just rolled then. Four and a six. Oh, Every okay. time I see this six, it yeah. looks like a one. So you uh, failed. Died. No, but oh, they're pinned so again. Pinned. So there's pin markers there. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll measure up what can hit what with this and I think it'll be easier just to do off camera but what I'll do will show you the allocation of hits. So we could have just rolled it because these are basically the only two eligible hits I just only seem to be hitting two at a time so we have the guy with two hits on him is okay and then the guy with three hits on him no oh he, he, oh, he it, died yeah. okay on to the outpost guns I'm just going to resolve them all at the same time because it's fun that way so this outpost gun here is going to fire at your Panzer III OP because that's the only thing I can see. <laughs> so there's two shots, uh, fours normally, five's concealment, six gone to ground, seven because you're far away if I've already said that, but ooh, one potential. No. I actually... Oh. Do, I, do I kill him? Do I kill him? <laughs> I got him! I got him! Um, I don't know what this guy's... What's his armor, actually? Did he not get a save? Six? What's your...? Thirteen. Oh, yeah. So no. No. Uh, no. Yeah. S s you'll equal on a six, wouldn't you? No, if it's thirteen, I won't. No, no. Okay, sorry. This one is going it to is go... It is thirteen, yeah. Yeah, eighty, thirteen, yes. yeah. They all got hypervelocity. This guy is firing onto the Stokes. That's one hit. Yeah. And... That will go straight through for yep. short range, uh, just a bail, but... Uh, no, I get a save because it's defence 7. Yeah, defence 7, yeah, gone on. So you could just completely... Yep. No, it doesn't. Uh, so he is bailed. Yep. And the other guy will fire at the Panthers. Uh, one hit on the Panther, needing a 5. So your front armour is... Uh, Yeah, long range, uh, so your front armour is 11, so a 1 would be nice. Oh, stop rolling my dice. Oh, sorry. You're wasting all the, <laughs> you're wasting all the 6s. And the other one um, is going to try and go for your, your main man. Oh, no. Who gets a hit. So you can swap it onto the yep. XO, which you don't, no. so then a save on your guy. <gasps> Lucky. Got them. No! <laughs> you just failed three three ups, so you still have a HQ, but your hero, your warrior. I lose that. You're oh. gone. Yeah, we we I well we, we could we could be wrong, but I checked people who know more than me, yeah. and they said yes. So um, we have more shooting to do. Yeah. Right. Next up, um, this platoon here. I am going to fire. Um, so it's going to be um, one, two, three, four, five shots into these guys here. Just try and get rid of a few more of them. Uh, that's a cock dice. Uh, so three hits. So it's going to be three rifle teams at the front. So go ahead and roll your saves. Uh, one dice, oh, one middle guy. So that's another one gone. So that's that platoon fired. I can't see the SS down there. Um, so the last thing to do now is to fire my Shermans and see what is in range of certain things. Well, whatever I hit, I will be going straight to fire powers. Okay, so I have eight shots coming in on the Vesps, needing sixes because four is normally, five is concealment, sixes for stabilizers. So four, 
eight dice. Please give me at least one. <gasps> oh my god, I got five! Oh, no, I got five! I think you're gonna kill them all. Well, so we have one guy with two. No oh, bells. Who's dead. <laughs> two more sixes. And then the other guy is dead, and the other guy is dead. Oh, that that wow. wiped, wiped them out. Wow. Okay. Um, so yeah. Oh, if you wonder why one is further back, is I failed the cross check on him uh, because of the snow. And that's it. So Vesps are dead. Happy with that. Yeah. Um, I thought I'd at least get one hanging in. Mm. Uh, so now we go into German turn four. Okay, so starting up, we have a remount on the Stug. I um, don't know the new Volt Stug four, stats. So if they have a special... Yes, four. So four confidence. plus remount on your Stug? No. no. Okay, now rally test. So what do you want to do first? Do you want to go from left to right over here? Yeah, I go. SS, rally on... Oh, well, that'll be last stand as well. They will, but that'll be after. Okay. okay so, so rally on the SS? No. no. Uh, now two dice requiring fives on this platoon, yes. they rally, and then one, oh no, still yep. twos, because yep. he's within range, needing fives, they no. do not, and then a five on your mortars, no, no. and now we're on to the last stand, so what do you want, the SS or the Stugs first? Stugs first. Okay. Four plus. Yes. Let's stick around, so we'll, we'll just with one, and the SS needing a three. No. No. Oh, no. SS are gone. That's big. That's big. Right, so we'll clear up and we'll go into movement. German movement, um, these guys have move, moving forward with their HQ. Um, just going for it now. And the Panthers, uh, basically, were trapped on this side of the ridge now, so they've moved back to where they were. And they all passed their cross checks because so they moved more than eight inches. And that's it, so now we're going to German shooting. So okay, so two Panthers are going for, um, well you, you can see this guy and this guy as well, so that is two shots, um, sixes, one hit, hits. have a save come in, pass. Uh, okay. And I think the other one was going for an outpost gun, I'm guessing. Yep. So uh, one shot on a six, nope, yep. that's a one. Next, we turn five now, wait. Probably. No, we're doing four, four. I'll be rolling four dice next turn. Okay, uh, these guys into... Oh, well, these guys first into those. Oh, you are firing, so we won't be gone to ground. Um, well, actually, what defence would I be if I was gone to ground? Fives. Uh, you'd be threes normally, fours, fives I'll be hitting you on rather than fours. Oh, I'll go for, I'll say gone to ground with that. Okay, cool. Right, so you've got STGs now, so these are three shots each. So we've got one, two, three, that fire in three shots, but their range is only like eight inches, I believe. Wait a second, um, so the Stug is firing at this guy here. So uh, Two shots. In fives. Oh, he hasn't hit anything. Okay. I just remember everyone, STGs can't actually fire MG42s as well, because these are STG. MG42 teams, so that's quite cool, but only two of them can fire at like that. Yeah, so that one will fire at that. That's your that. HQ, my oh, okay. You can fire him separately. That one will fire at that, uh, and that one will fire like that. And, and then he will fire into him. I don't want the trouble is though for killing, I can't assault. So don't shoot at him. Yeah. <laughs> so these two will fire up there. Yeah. Which means I. One hit might get splashed to him anyway, and then she just fire at the outpost gun and just potentially waste your shots, but at least you get an oh, but then I will help me with defensive fire. I'll, I'll fire a shack at that. Yeah. Okay, so that's all. Oh, and everything else? And those two up, up there. there. And then him not fire, you just suppose you don't have to fire. Uh, he'll go at the. at that. Okay, uh, come to the HQ. Yeah. Right, so we have the STG, three shots, hitting on fives. Oh, that's a die. Okay. No. Uh, nope. And then the Shrek will be hitting on a six. No. Nope. Nope. And then the four shots going up there will be on fives. Uh, two hits. Two hits. Uh, so it'll be splash, splash. So LMG is okay, rifle team is okay. 
And then you have your HQ, which yeah. is but only eight inch range. Yeah. So yeah, it should be enough to. Yeah. So three hits. Uh, three shots needing fives, two. Yeah. So LMG, rifle team, all good, and it's pinned anyway. Yeah. Okay, so the 8 inch mortars are going to compete, uh, comp uh, continue their bombardment onto the outpost gun. So, this outpost gun, two dice, you're hitting on fours. Uh, one cock dice. Nope. No. The other outpost gun is yes. hit, and then the mortar. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right, so um, this outpost gun here is not okay, and um, the mortar is not okay. So, needing a four here. But yes, you need to re-roll it. Oh. Nope. And then the mortar. Who you get. Oh. That's a pain. And that is all you're shooting. So yeah. it is assault time. Okay, so these only two teams are going to go in for assault. Just stops the defensive fire here. But I will get one shot with my rifle. Which I miss. So it's two swings now. And it's fours, isn't it? For yeah, your guys now. Yep. Get him. Um, I can't contact you with anyone else, so I need to do a counter-attack, otherwise I lose a couple of guns, actually. Um, so, no. Okay, so we'll see where that ends up. Okay, so I lost both outpost guns, and this guy had to push back uh, just a bit, and they're outside of six inches, the assault team. Uh, so now they get to move four inches in any direction. So, luckily now, spreading rumours is gone, so I can potentially counter-attack you at some point, which will be nice. Okay, so, we go into American turn four. I have a pin test on the paratroopers up by here, which they rally. Um, you hit my outpost gun by there, so he needs a rally, which he does not. I need to actually start putting a bit more pin markers down, <laughs> and then this unit here which doesn't rally, which is a problem now. Um, but I do have reserves, so they'll be coming in. Please get a four, five, six. I do. So they will be coming in this flank here. Was that to see if they turned up, though? I will be rolling four dice, so they'll be automatically coming in. Um, so I have, no I have some stuff to do. And let's see if I can do it. So... We go into American movement. Okay, so movement-wise, my HQ's moved into the woods to help these guys rally because I need it. Um, my Shermans, only two of them actually passed a three-up cross-check because of the snow. I'm moving down this way. And my Chaffees, uh, I know they probably be, they would have been useful there, but there's a lot of anti-tank. There's also a very big anti-tank here, but I'm in the side of the Panthers. Um, pretty much every shot I'm on the side. And they'd be hitting them on fours because they're brigade stuff, so it might be a bit overkill. But then they can also go for the mortars after. So that is it. Um, so we're going to go into shooting and see what I can do. So should we just should we just do it? <laughs> what is your side armor? Five. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's. Oh, yeah. So you'll still need fives to equal. Yeah. Okay. So that's eight shots. Hitting on fours. Yeah. Because it stabilizes. This is where... I should have thought we kept this hiding. <laughs> I've missed two shots. Ooh, that is a cock dice. I've missed two shots, Richard. Ouch. So that is two hits on every panther. Ouch. So should we do the guy closest yeah. to you? So two dice coming in. One bounce. One bounce. The guy in the middle. One, one bounce. bounce. One okay. pen. And then two... One bounce. So, it's three ups required here, so guy farthest left is dead, oh. guy in the middle is dead, oh. and the guy is bailed. <laughs> With our five plus remount and rally, oh no, I think the last stand is okay. Okay, so that is good for me. Okay, next up, my three inch gun here is firing into a Stugs again. Uh, no hits, the other one with, with one shot is going to go onto your mortars up by there. No. So now the Shermans, two of them, are going to split shots down onto your rear of your Stugs. If it works. <laughs> so we've got 
uh, short and a short so yeah short and then the short. other two are going to open up into the gone to ground guys by there yeah. so it's four shots um threes normally fours concealment fives for stabilizers and uh, no and then i have 450 cals hitting yeah. on uh fours uh no six uh threes fours fives <clears throat> Uh, one hit, and then I have four thirty cals. Uh, one more hit, so he was in range. So a four up save on a fifty cal. Good, yep. and then a four up save on a thirty. So yep. thirty, I need a six. So I'm not going to get that. There we go. So I have my boys in that building there that can only hit this guy. So I have the unit leader. A rifle platoon, a rifle team, another rifle team, another rifle team, and then one, two, three, four, five from the LMG. Now, threes normally, fours concealment, fives gone to ground. Now, I can only hit one guy. Yeah, I should have probably do that. Uh, I've already got two hits on him though, so two saves. Thank you. No. Uh, they, he is dug in now. <gasps> Get him. Oh, yes. I'd rather that on a on a mortar. Okay, so fired. We got this platoon to fire now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump everything into the HQ. So I am pinned, so it's just gonna be he's not gonna be able to fire, so it's just gonna be three shots hitting on force. Uh two hits. You can try to fob him off onto yeah, someone. Yeah, fob him off. First one. Or was yeah. it going to go? Uh, that way. Okay, and then one more. Uh, oh, sorry. No, onto, onto yeah. the one and into the yeah, pop. Okay. Bulletproof safe. Okay, and, and then the other one does. Yeah. Okay, so a three up save here. Fail, yeah. and a three up save here. Yes. Okay, so do I kill? No. No. Yeah, it was remembering to put it in the bulletproof. Uh, Right, and that is my shooting done. So we're going into German turn five. Okay. Lots of uh, German turn five, we have a rally test. Uh, you are still within range, yeah. uh, just about maybe. But roll your first five up first. No. Nope. No, you're not. So uh, that, that's him done. Yep. And then a rally test on a five up by here. Nope. No. And... The no more Bailed. last. Oh yeah, bailed. So he gets yeah. back in. Oh, and a bailed out panther as well. He gets back in. And last stand. He yeah. loves it. He loves it. Ooh. Well, there's at least two chaffies going down. <laughs> okay, so we're going into German movement. Uh, German movement. Uh, the SCG assault platoon is moving up. And the HQ has moved and done a follow me to keep up with them for motivations because they're a reluctant bunch now. Panther, who is reluctant but doesn't care, has rotated his turret. Yeah, that was lucky. Yeah. I, I, he was lucky to get that many hits, I think. Uh, and then that's it for movement, so we're going into shooting. So only artillery you have is the 8cm mortars, or do you want to start with Panther? Panther's revenge. Uh, so you are, you are on high ground, so it's two shots hitting on fours. Two hits. Yes. Funnily enough, I don't have a save against that. <laughs> um, so a three up to kill him. Oh, you, you just get two kills. Right? Yeah. Okay. So that's the other one. One. Two. Okay. Right. Uh, you could then try and do a shooting scoot. Yes. Try and do that. Yeah, yes. that'll be enough, so four inches any direction. But Whoa. most importantly, it changes your facing. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, that's the point. I'm just trying to work out why, why I do that, yeah. Okay, um... Are there any... No, there are no outposts. Oh, uh, actually, yeah, so I'll put, I'm moving four inches. There. Okay, cool. Uh, do you want to do your repeat bombardment? Yeah, I, I can't range in anywhere useful, can I? No, everything is like quite stuck down by there. Yeah, and you're pinned it. You're that platoon's pinned anyway yeah. already. So, outpost gun, two shots needing fours. 
Yeah, no. Oh yeah, you do get him. And then the other one also needs new fours. No. No. So this guy double save. I fail, so on a four up you need to re-roll, so roll two dice. No. <sighs> they did brilliantly well. Stokes? Uh, Stokes, um, they'll go into that platoon there. Okay, um, four, dice. four shots, needing fives. No. <sighs> they didn't, I think. Maybe they should have gone for the Shermans, we'll see. So uh, all that's left is the STG teams in this yeah. platoon if you want to lose their gone to ground. Uh, we'll do the STGs first. Okay, so you've got one, two teams that can fire, let's have six shots, yep. and then you've got Shrek and Shrek. Okay. So it's six shots um, hitting on fives, okay. still concealed. Oops. One, two, three, four. Okay, so five, five hits. hits, so we'll allocate that to what can be hit, so I think it's pretty much everyone. Uh, I don't think he's within range because of the trees. And then two shots um, on the Shraks, but they'll be sixes, so no. So double save here. Yep. Uh, failed, but he is in bulletproof. The mortar is failed. Bazooka in the woods failed. And other rifle team failed. So six here to kill. Uh, it was just one, one just one dice anyway. Yeah. So a six here. No, no. a six on the Zook. Yes. Dead. And then a six on the rifle team. He's yeah. okay, so oh, that's quite output of fire there, and I think that is your shooting unless you want to lose egg on the ground. No. Okay. Okay, assault and teams have gone in, or I will, might guess, in defensive fire from there as well. Um, so, LMG will, and he will, he won't. Oh, I thought, okay, fair enough, yeah. Okay. Uh, unless you choose not to assault the mortar. I want assault okay. in that one. So if we just put them back. I don't want the LMG. Okay. So it's oh, just... oh, actually, he's only firing two, isn't he? Uh, yeah, so it'll be one, three more shots. So how many shots at the moment? So it is one, two, three, four, five, and then it'll be one more for the bazooka, but you'll be hitting on a six. Cause yeah, you've concealed but it. if I go for that one, it'll be another two? Oh, no, that was included in that. Oh, shot. okay, so yeah, you just go for both of them. Okay, then. right then. So we have one, two, three, four, five shots. Uh, hitting on threes. Uh, that's every single one. Pit. And then a six. Another oh, hit. Oh no! Oh. And I'll just do double and double. So two saves there. Dead. Oh. Uh, two saves on that guy. Dead. Dead. And then one on the Shrek. Okay, and then one on the other Shrek. Oh dear, that's probably it. So they go back. Okay, and yeah, so that's defensive fire conducted. Okay, American turn five. Uh, I have a pinned power platoon, but I get a reroll this time. They rally. Oh, that's big. And the outpost gun next to them does not rally, and the other one further up does not rally. And that is it for motivation, so we're going into movement. Okay then, so um, we have movement. So the Chaffees have gone up this way. Um, my platoon with the HQ have moved down here to try and get rid of this threat down here. And the Shermans are moving for the 12 centimeter mortars. So at least one of them I'll be able to get anyway. And that is it, so we'll be going into shooting. So I'll start with the outpost guns again. So one shot into the Stugs. No, and then one over to the 8 centimeter mortars, no. Um, I'm already ranged in here with my platoon here, so I am going to just fire because he won't be assaulting and I will be getting to the Shrek and the unit leader. So the Shrek is missed, unit leader is hit, so double save. Oh. You did lose his um, no, range when he was pinned. No, it yeah. stays because I haven't moved. So, oh. And he's dead, so he is unit leader. So another last standing unit. Yep. And then that unit then is going to fire. So it's going to be one, two, three, four are going to be going on to your for, for, uh, formation command. And then I got another one and a bazooka onto the other unit. Oh no, one, two, three. Um, 
so that is what I'm going to do. So, yeah, he will also fire into the HQ, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So hitting on fours though, uh, so that's three hits will be allocated to him. And then I got another one and the bazooka onto the other team. So a four and then a five got a hit. So I'll play it on a STG team. So <clears throat> it's too close for error. So three saves on the HQ. He dies once. So does he swap to another team on a four up? He does not. So he's gone and then a save on this guy who survives. And then my HQ will use his SMG onto these guys. I only oh I get two hits. So Shrek. Yep. Uh, three up save. Uh, how many now? Uh, just, just one. Uh, yep. Six passes and then the, you know, that guy it dies okay. on a two. Okay. Um, Chaffee's then I have four. I'll fire my main guns onto you. So three's normally. Fours concealment, fives for stabilizers. I get two hits, so two three up saves on your eight centimeter mortars. Fail one, that's one down. And then that is eight fifty cals onto your twelve centimeter mortars, so it's going to be threes normally, fours. Concealment, five has gone to ground, doesn't count. Uh, so that's four hits so far, so yep. I'll do one, two, and one, and then I'll roll the 30 cals as well. Uh, one more hit, so I'll just be there. Okay, so you have a 50 cal save here. Yep, two dice. Uh, just one, because one's a 30. So fail, and then a 30 cal as well, also fail. Two 50 cals here, one fail, and then a 50 cal. That's right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right, so uh, 50 cal to kill, no. 30 cal to kill, no. 150 to kill, yes. yes. So one more is dead by there. Oh dear. Are they lost something now? Mm, not yet, because there's still two left, but I do have an assault coming in on them. And... That is it for my shooting, so now I will be doing some assaults with the Shermans and then on to the remaining Shrek down here. So, uh, one guy will go here, HQ will jump in with them, and yeah. so you have one shot. Um, so it'll be fours normally, five. Is this on the HQ, is it? Uh, yeah, onto your Panzer Shrek, so. Oh, yeah. So. So just one dice, I'll give you one dice, just roll it up, that's a no, and then I have one, two, three, four, five swings, yeah, he's yeah. gone. Okay, and then Sherman's, so two are uh, close enough to get in, so it'll be two swings, uh, he's gone, so you, that's the assault over, because uh, you can't, I can't connect without Four, but you have a tactical move though, didn't you? Uh, four inches. Yeah, you got enough to get out. Yeah. So that will be the conclusion of my turn. Okay, so I consolidated around here, and now we have. Oh, I'll consolidate my Shermans. I'm just going to push up and not give your Stugs easy shots. So first up we have some pin down units. So we have the pinned platoon here rallying on a five up. They do. Yeah. And then the mortar, just singular now on a five up. No. no. And now we have last stand. So we have a panther, them and four the mortar. Plus. Well which one do you want to do first? Panther and four plus? No. No <sighs> This platoon here. They yes. stay and then the mortars. No. So one more unit. Yeah. And that is it. Is that already it? Is it? So that one. And you got your. And that one. That's it. Yeah. That's all that's left of the formation. So that's it, isn't it? Or do I use it's two? You've two. Oh. But they're pinned, so they're not going anyway. Yeah. Maybe still have your stugs. 
and your mo and your eight centimeter mortars. Yep. Okay, movement is it? Yep, we'll go into movement now. Okay, so realizing this is turn six, these stugs here have to pass a blitz, do a tactical move. Don't get don't fail a cross check because of the snow. Then do a follow me and again not follow fail a cross check to get within eight of the subjective and also only be there because within two inches there. So first of all, the blitz, the blitz on a four plus. Yes. So four inch move them four yep. and then. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we'll do a follow. Okay. So you did okay, it. So that's done first. So move the eight inches you are allowed legally first yeah. though. And then we stop and then you continue. So eight inches goes to there. Eight inches goes to there. So move does this guy pass a cross check? No. No. Nope. And then does that guy pass a cross check? No. no. And that's game. That's game. Yeah, because you can still fire your mortars and pick some stuff off, but that's that's it really. But no, good game. Yeah, good really game. good game. And, and no doubt I've probably got something done wrong there. But if anyone points out things, obviously with st everything learning, I think the assaults we've pretty much got done pretty well this time. Yeah, there's um, a lot to think about. So lots to think about. Could have made some mistakes. But yeah, really fun. Um, I do actually like uh, that new bolt. Yeah, it is a good book. Man on Atri, you say in your HQ because the probably. three up re rolls. But luckily I killed him. We did check. It would make sense if he was in the HQ, he's gonna die. But, um, yeah, we rolled off on Wednesday, so I think I was quite justified that he died. <laughs> My man, the Marshal, will be first platoon. Yeah. Uh, because they held against SS and two platoons of Volks and HQ, and we'll say the Stugs as well. And yeah. took assaults. They also uh, got ranged in by Vesps. 12 centimetre mortars and 8 centimetre mortars. Uh, thank you to the Jeeps though who br gave their lives to help defend. <laughs> and that's it. So thank you everyone for watching.